Oh, wow. Wow. Right. I said scroll back it said meek name it did not say meek mill's name he did not it, it did not say meek mill name wait oh oh hold up never mind wait what the fuck i forgot look mr combs informed mr jones that he had engaged in sexual intercourse with rapper five that's redacted look five he's a philadelphia rapper who dated Nicki minaj Yo, Meek, we were playing around with that Michael Rubin shit. But if you don't, you've been tweeting about, every, nigga, you've been tweeting about everything on planet Earth. If you don't get a Twitter rant saying you about to get Lil Rod killed, you about to shoot up his block, blow his mama's house up. This nigga is saying that you and Diddy were fornicating. What the fuck? Meek. I don't believe this. Me, me and Meek is my close personal friend, and I don't think he'll fuck a man. I, I think this is blasphemous. There's nothing in Meek Mill's history that even make him look gay. Why the hell they talk about Meek Mill like this? I'm not going to let no bum ass producer talk about my close personal friend Meek Mill like this. Meek Mill is a straight up gangster. A stand up individual. Stamped and certified from the trenches. He put his whole hood on. Make not gay. Wait, is there anything? Let me see. Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, daddy. You putting in that work. Now, I talked to some old heads, like some of niggas who still wearing, like, you know what I mean, Ivisu jeans, you know what I mean? Like, they still rocking rock aware and Sean John. They tell me that Diddy's just old. Like, they said niggas in the 90s and 80s called other men daddy. Like, that was a term of endearment. You feel me? So instead of saying homie, back in the 90s, niggas called other niggas daddy. That was the thing. Yo, daddy, what's up, daddy? Daddy. Yo, daddy, you looking good, daddy. That's what I heard. Now, again... It is it we're in a different era, so it sounds weird, but from what I'm hearing, this was normal. Next person, RB Singer 6 redacted. Look. He performed at the Super Bowl and had a successful Vegas residency. Usher! No fucking way. No, Usher got a song to my. I need a girl that can. Uh, 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 I need a. I never know. He meant to say, I need a boy. What the fuck? Usher not gay. Usher gay? Yo, what's going on out here? I ain't gonna lie, this nigga Usher must have got hit with the triple whammy, nigga, or the double whammy. This nigga got herpes and he gay. Holy shit. God damn it, this nigga can't catch a break. <laughs> it's like God said, we gotta put this nigga in the Super Bowl or something. This nigga been, this nigga been down bad for... Pump your brakes. Make sure y'all hit that thumbs up. That's the like button. Also hit the notification bell. That way you get notifications from me every time I drop this high-ish off the press. Now here we go. Oh wow. Uh. Oh wow. Uh, damn. Yep. So if you look at this picture in front of you, yep, you'll see Meek Mills dressed like P. Diddy. Yeah. Excuse me, I covered up the other arm with academic picture. Because as you can see by the video I played first, as soon as this came on, yeah, that way. Academic has a lot to do with this. But he's not on the rainbow side of things. Um, like Meek Mills and Diddy dressing up the same in the midget in the middle of them looking like their love child. <laughs> you know what I mean? And on the left of you at the bottom under Meek Mills and Act, you'll see Usher. Now we heard rumors about Usher for the longest, but as you can see, Act, act like, you know, in the video, Act, act like it's his first time hearing this Diddy-ish about Usher. Now Usher, one of the names that we've been heard about. 
Yeah, that way. But uh, academic clown them, though. <laughs> it is funny. So I guess the paperwork came out on Little Rod, the one who's suing Diddy, yeah, for uh, yeah, sexual harassment and other things. I did a video on it. Uh, he basically accusing Diddy of uh, making him watch sex tapes with Stevie J and other men and him trying to grope his genitals and things of that nature. And uh, even young Miami uh, cousin assault, assaulted him. Let him tell it. He wants 30 mil like Cassie. Yeah. He should get 50 if he's a male that's not gay. And did he try them that way? That's all I got to say about that. Yeah, that way. That way. When we gonna stand up for the men? <laughs> yeah, that way. You know, hey, listen. Especially if he ain't that way, man. Like, come on, man. Even if he is, though, and he's not free willing to like that type of stuff from Diddy. Like, come on. If Cassie got the 30 mil and he and she was with him them years, I'm quite sure this guy here, I think he was his videographer or something like that. And other things to him as far as in the business wise and he didn't deserve that if this is true yeah but the funny thing is how academics was basically saying no nah, not me me not gay he the savage of philly that what we thought but look at this picture do this look like a savage from philly philadelphia y'all need to get on this ninja top he making y'all look bad and y'all seen the other video academics played that way he mad now yeah, Meek Mill's mad at academics. I'm going to read that to y'all, too. What he's saying now. Yeah. Would you thought academic supposed to turn his back from the situation? This is hot press. And you a hot mess for dressing like Diddy. When I saw this picture, I just knew what it was. I'm not surprised your name in the paperwork. In the paperwork that Act was reading out of, I'm going to definitely post it at the end of this video before my beard of dragon come on. Yeah, I'm going to have that. Y'all can read it y'all self. Yeah, I ain't reading all that. I already got to do some reading for y'all. Yeah. But read between the lines. Yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah. Look what him and Diddy got on. Excuse me. The Hey Daddy is covering, yeah, some of Meek outfit. But it's the same thing Diddy got on. They're twinning. <laughs> yeah. And look at their little son at the bottom. He just having a good funky old time. And I do mean funky. If what's going on. Yeah. What Buddy said is going on in the paperwork. <laughs> yeah, that way. So Meek is mad at the world, you guys, for his choices he made. You got Diddy in the pool. I mean, you in the pool. Academic just showed y'all. Y'all can rewind it. Yeah. Yeah, it looked like your ass poked out. And he taunts him, do it like that, daddy, or some ish like that. Come on, man. And Academic still try to take up for you, so I don't know what you mad at act for. Torn, they was calling each other daddy back in the day. No, they wasn't. Only person we called daddy was our daddy. If we saw his ass, and big daddy came. <laughs> yeah. So all the other ish, yeah, y'all talk about, man. Come on, man. This is fruity. But we know what's going on. It just makes sense. You know? I, listen, I'm just waiting for him to put a little baby out there. I seen some pictures of him the other day, hugged him on. Yeah. And I'm mad. Because little baby, like, that was the only dude I would listen to. He reminded me of Jeezy of 2000, you know, the 2020s. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? He got to focus on getting money. But he started hitting them parties, too. Him, Meek Mills, even Dirk around there. So I won't be surprised we'll come out, but let's just stick with Meek Mills and hopefully, yeah, a little baby and, yeah, don't never have nothing going on like this, you know? A Town stand up one time. Goddamn. They already got a bad name on the A little baby. I was mad you was in them pictures in the sandwich. Meek Mills, he was looking fruity. Yeah, he, like Meek Mills, look. Philly got to handle you. Yeah, that way. Because, boy, you listen, you look real fruity in this picture. Yeah, yeah, come on. You know what I'm saying? You can't get mad at nobody questioning this. And now your name and paperwork, actually. We've been questioning the pictures. All we wanted was the straw to break the horse's back, and bam, there you go on paperwork. We know they're talking about you. He, a rapper from Philly who dated Nicki Minaj. Who else? Usher, too. He just did the Super Bowl. Come on. Common sense, man, common sense. But let me get into uh, reading this for y'all, you know? Because I love my audience so much. I'm going to take the time out and read Meek Mill's tweets. And you know the, boo the boys have a literary writing. So work with me. Yeah, if I stumble across a, I mean, stumble over a few words, he can't spell. <laughs> he can't spell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he just bunches words together. I haven't read this yet. But, uh, yeah, I can imagine it comes from Meek Mill's now. So don't act like I'm slow. But here we go. Right here. Right now. Oh, uh... So like I was saying, Meek Mills is pretty pissed at academics for the videos I showed y'all when it first came on. And he says this, get me his Addy. 
I'm going to shoot a full production music video in front of his house, LOL. Seriously, get me that one in New Jersey. Yeah, he wanted the address of academics in New Jersey. You feel me? Then he says this, academics and alcoholic fully powered by the white man. Who you think posting that on every website? They be so mad. They can't stop. It's few groups, LOL. And then uh, he also says this. Bitch Ninja ain't going to play no games with me. They trying to da do damage control. The same thing they almost tricked y'all with little Baby. And like I said before this, uh, I hope, yeah, hopefully they did just try to trick us with little Baby. And it is damage control. Far as it goes with little Baby, you know what I mean? Yeah, that way. But the pictures ain't looking good for him either. Let's just be honest. You know what I'm saying? But uh, he also says... The way you ninjas coming on the sick now, I can't wait to meet academics, LOL. They know I drop tomorrow. This, they damage control. This net getting too weird. Ooh. Yep. So he's basically saying it's damage control. Uh, all this is because he's dropping a new album, which I think is, uh, let me just be honest with y'all. Cap. Yeah, that way. Y'all see how you look in the pictures? Rewind this video. Y'all see him all tooted up in the pool? Matter of fact, y'all see him on this picture. Yeah, this picture right here. If this ain't ground, it's the, uh, you know, question is the rainbow bright. See the shiny light ass ninja. Then what else we gonna do? What else can we say? But it's not only academics that he got beef with. It's uh my boy uh Tate. Andrew Tate. Yep. And uh, hold up one second. Let me get that for you. So apparently, uh, yeah, Meek Mills sends shots at Andrew Tate due to a comment that I'm about to show y'all to. Yeah. And it's coming up right here. So uh, Andrew Tate at the bottom says, so P. Diddy was having sex with Meek Mills and Usher? And, you know, I guess you put X.com, whatever, for y'all to hit it and look it up. But y'all got me for that. Y'all got me for that. Yeah, that way. Y'all already know that what they saying. And Meek Mills respond. Was you sex trafficking woman? The fuck wrong with you, Brody? Now look here, Meek Mills. You sound like a hit dog and your show is hollering. Is you hollering loud as Diddy had you hollering or you had him hollering? That's what we want to know. Yeah, that way. Because you're doing too much. you doing too much. You mad at everybody else but the person who's saying it. With Lil' Rod, uh, yeah. What a temper tan on him. Come on, man. you doing too much. Now you want to bring up Andrew Tate stuff. They didn't prove Andrew Tate was doing no sex trafficking. Now he been flying women out of, out of state and all that. Is that trafficking? And it's their free will? I don't know. But I'm going to stay away from that. But it's mighty funny how you brought that up. Because of this picture. Yeah, that says a lot. A picture speaks a thousand words. And yours is speaking a million. <laughs> yeah, that way. Look at their son, y'all. Oh, the son at the bottom. Oh, look at him. Yeah, look how look how close him and Usher is on the left side. Oh, they mad at Act. You see, I put the little thought process on Act. Look, Meek Mill gay? Holy. <laughs> you know you like to say, never mind. Never mind. But let's see what else Meek Mill's got to say. One second, let me dig that up. So here's Meek Mill's trying to further, yeah, defend himself. He says, I'm from Philly. What the hell that mean, though? Uh, listen, Philadelphia, I love you, but we know we got him everywhere now. I don't do coke or freaky ass Molly. Boy, you been rapping. Listen, Rick Wolf's talking about putting Molly in. Girls drinking. You signed to him. Boy, stop. Oh, hold up, hold up. We got to check this out too. Now, did the paperwork say anything about him getting fed coke or freaky Molly to do the things he did? Or is he mentioning it out the blue? Because if he's mentioning out the blue, how you know he giving on coke and Molly? Unless you was here. Yeah, that way, y'all got to use your mind to think. So we got to figure it out, y'all. I am super cool, team. Let's figure it out. If you don't say in the paperwork, he did it. <laughs> yeah, he did it. And then he says, nobody won't even offer me coke because I'm that heavy. No man or what would ever approach me about gay activities in the whole place get flipped. Yeah, he talking gangster now. You got flipped. That's what they saying, though. That either you got flipped or Diddy. I don't know if you were top, bottom, or vice versa for him. And he said, woke up seeing this on every blog like they know I'm coming, LOL. Yeah, we know you coming. Yeah, yeah. Diddy know you when you coming. We don't know nothing. Yeah, spelled the other way, though. Spelled the other way. <laughs> yeah, that way. 
And hold up, he's not done yet. He has more to add to it. He said, that's why I always come around all these industry ninjas with my real friends. You industry, Meek Mills. You industry. Yeah, that way. Anytime you come, listen, anytime you hold up. So you're telling me your, your real friends was around when you dressed like P. Diddy. Boy, stop. That means your real friends. Now you take a picture like that. With a midget. Yeah, yeah, come on, man. And all the rumors out. We already know going on. Yeah, you part of that rumor. Yeah, I believe it, dog. I think I'm leaning towards believing it. But I don't know if Buddy lying on the situations. But I believe Mick Mills is tied in that group some kind of way. <laughs> yeah, that way. And he says also, you never catch me around anybody from the industry alone. You can't even hold a convo without my dog stepping in the room. It's been that way. I can't, I can't till y'all find out I'm the illest in this shit. LOL. Illest what? Illest what? Illest nigga that dressed like P. Diddy? Yeah, that way. And y'all know uh, Usher got that song, Daddy's Home. You know Diddy like to say daddy. So who wrote them lyrics? <laughs> yeah, that way. Let me leave them alone, though, y'all. But y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think. Always use your mind and think. Because the mind is a terrible thing to waste. Just like Meek Mill should have thought before he took this picture. <laughs> and while y'all use that same mind and think, make sure you remind yourself that you are somebody. And, uh, you know, be respectful in the comments, too. I always tell y'all that. Because I curse a bitch out. That way. That way, I sure will. But I told y'all I'm going to leave, uh, you know, the paperwork up there so y'all can read the same way academics had at the end of this. So that way I'm going to leave y'all with, and I'm going now hard. The same way I came in. Oh, uh. My baby dragon said, send some cash out so he can eat good like he eat every day. Yeah. Send some cash out. What's your cash out? Dollar sign I A M S U P A K O O L. Don't y'all want to see his beard grow? Look how he looking around. Look. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I'm trying to get you some money. Where's Turd at the new one? Look how big his turd is, though, y'all. Come on now, come on now. Show some love for the better dragon. He trying to get a bigger uh, tank. <laughs> wow.